Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's play some Graveyard Keeper. So, we are in the tavern business. I need to go to the town to check out how amazing our tavern is. But, um, I got some good advice, as always, from the commenters on the channel. And if you've got advice, my goodness, would I appreciate it. Um, if you know about the game and you've got any tips, it's so welcome, so awesome. And Lance was telling me that the merchant will sell diamonds. And so I'm going to go talk to the merchant now because it's his day. Oops. And I'm going to... Um, discuss with the merchant the business of all of these silver bars I've got. So he does have diamonds, and they're really actually not that expensive. They're like 30 silver. I thought they would be outrageous, but they're not. So let me sell as much of this as I can. Right, so I can sell these 26 silver bars for um, a huge amount of money. Let me get this. Um, I'm going to buy both diamonds, and then I might just buy these seeds, too, just to kind of expedite my process a little bit with my vineyard. Boom. We come up ahead on money, and we've got diamonds. So what this will allow me to do is make the ultimate sword, or at least a really, really good sword. So I'm excited. Now, um, let's go ahead and see where our, quote, tavern is. Like, did you build us this tavern? Do I need to go check with you? Uh-oh. Speed potion. There we go. Whew. Kick it in with the good stuff. Here it is. It's right over top of the machine, just like we asked for. Look how nice our tavern is. It has like a floating skull too, just like Jerry. All right, let's go in the quote front door. He's here. You call this a tavern? Holy sard, it's an embarrassment. This looks sweet. Where's the music maker, the gossip, the drinks? Where's the cool bartender? I'm considering various candidates right now and okay, you're helpless. I'll manage it instead of you. Great, your task is to construct a wooden doll of a bartender and set it here. Create barman doll. Oh my gosh, it's like this creepy ventriloquist puppet. Just go to your workbench and do it. Go, go, save your questions for later. All right. Um, so he really wants me to do that now. Oh, we can make money here? This is sweet. This I don't know if this is like part of the DLC. It's kind of fun playing it after the or all the DLC has been... Um, installed so and, and out I have no idea like to disentangle what's from what Ooh, but does this go to my basement do I have a shortcut to this yes look the normal way to the town has now been extended and I can go right into my little tavern wow this is sweet all right Let's go build this thing he so desperately wants at the workbench. Alright. Where can I make a barman doll? Oh, right here, and it's easy. Oh boy, it's creepy. I think a zombie would be less creepy, to be honest. Whoa! Boy, that makes a lot of blue. I should make a bunch of these. Alright, let's carry this thing. Oh boy, Barman doll. It's going to be kind of like... There's a robotic bartender in the fifth element. I'm, I'm thinking of that. But there's also the... Um, infamous... Robot... Um, taxi driver in Total Recall. That also comes to mind. Oh, wow, cool. What, what can I build here? Box rack. What is this? Wow, I can make like onion rings and stuff. Alright, let's go. Let's talk to Jerry. We got the dude for you.
We'll put him there. Maybe he can bounce inside of the head. Clumsy work, but it's good enough. Yorick, it's your turn. Oh, the ghost. Yorick, are you sure it's a good idea? More complaints. Just think, he can work around the clock. That's right. Man, I'm really exploiting undead labor. Oh my gosh, he has possessed the spirit. Oh, I got an achievement on Steam. Employee of the Month. He has 30 years bartending experience. Well, great. Before he poisoned himself with an expired cocktail. Oh, no. And most of all, he doesn't claim a salary. Who's the genius here? Hmm, it makes sense. Talk to him. I'll be waiting for you in the local cellar. I greet the new bartender. Oh... It'll be such a pleasure to work with you. No salary, no insurance, no vacations, never. I'm on strike. Have a nice day, goodbye. I guess he's gone, since you're such a skilled bartender. Could you tell me a little about it? Of course, a tavern is like a, a defenseless flower, yes. Your duty is to care for it and nurture it like your own child, so you must remember this. There's a kitchen and a storage area in the cellar. Alcohol is stored on pallets. We sell alcohol off the pallets around the clock. We need to make sure it doesn't run out. Sounds reasonable. Customers like to buy alcohol and enjoy themselves, but they like quality taverns. So the higher the tavern's quality, the more customers you get, and the more customers, the more money. Oh, I'm already looking forward to the stupors, the wild screams, the drunken fights. It'll be marvelous. So Rick, this must be the place where you can turn gold quality wine into a profit. For starters, put some beer on the pallets. Uh-oh. I don't even know how to make beer. I'm gonna have to do that then. Can I sell wine instead? Oh, he's found a barrel to be on top of. About the machine. And now I should break the wall to get the machine free? You read my mind. Alright. Um, let's do it. There must be a button. Push it. Oh... My god. Is it the time traveler from Jules Verne? There's a skeleton. Don't pay any attention. It's that inventor keeper. Do you know how to use this device? The old keeper didn't even let me ever let me get close. There must be instructions. There, I see them. Oh, he loved writing instructions. It works. We only need to put an artifact into this hole. And will witness a scene from the far past. An artifact? This is getting complicated. There must be an itemized list of instruction of artifacts in the instructions. By the way, the wrong order of artifacts could cause an apocalypse. And here, he included a complete list. The old keeper already handled most of the research. It says right here. The first is the statuette of the ancient god. And the machine says, let's look. The statuette's owner, Herodric. I'm totally confused. I'll put it more simply. Take the statuette from Herodric and bring it here. And take care of the corpse. Who's the keeper here? Me or you? Alright. So it's a body. Um, okay, let's go then. Yeah, I guess I'll take care of this corpse. I wonder if I want to animate the old keeper or if, or if that's too bizarre. Hmm. Probably a little bit too creepy, but... Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway. Alright. Oh, no. Bodies go over here. Yes, finish your writing, gents. How's the speed potion business? We could use more. You need blood? We're actually running out of blood? Alright. Oh no. We've got a rotten body. Huh? We did say we needed blood. Herodric can't talk to us. It's night time, so... Well, actually, he might be able to. He, he keeps that bar open pretty, pretty late. It's actually still a good body. You know what I could do is inject it with the, uh... Wow, this body is really good.
Anyway. Um, give me the rotten one. Put it here. Um, uh, I guess I should just bury stuff. Go out in my graveyard. Put some of these bodies away. We got one left. Put the old gravestone on there. And let's find... Yep, yeah, we got one fence left. Boom. Ooh, that makes me... That reminds me. So Lance was telling me that I have too many wall candelabras. And if I take some of them out, then maybe I can make more stained glass windows. So that's potentially something that could happen. So let me see if that's on point. Let me demolish this. Hmm. Oh, I'm full up on stuff. I got too much stuff. All right, let me go back downstairs. Let me dump a bunch of stuff. So I can dump this fat and this blood. I got the Necronomicon. Ooh. Is Snake here? Or is he just getting here? Oh my god, there he is. Yes. Here's Necronomicon. Here's your book, Snake. I'm hardly surprised you're a man of extraordinary talents. Plus, you're immortal. Life isn't fair. Give me the book. Wow, the ritual's more complicated than I expected. Fear into the hearts, a fountain of blood, a convergence of sin. I'll never finish this ritual. I'll never get to see him. Don't give up. I also have have a difficult task too i know what you're going through you just need to believe in yourself everything is in your hands you're a dangerous and unscrupulous rogue who else could perform this ritual if not you you're right i hate it when someone's right but in in case it uh in this case it seems i could use a little help a favor for a favor you know i need your endless notebook I need it for a ritual of my own, to get back to my love. I understand you quite well, perhaps even more than you can imagine. This book is the only thing I have from my childhood. We weren't allowed to have our own possessions at the orphanage. When they pulled me from that burning house, I was gripping it in my hands. This book means a lot to me. This book's pages never end. I write down everything in this notebook, and a lot of the pages were already filled when I started. I always wonder what all those notes are about. How happy were the people who wrote them? You know what? If I succeed with my ritual, the notebook will be yours. I won't need it. Okay. About the ritual. How can I help? I got a feeling I need to return the favor. Sounds reasonable. First of all, we need to prepare. We need this place looking as scary as my old orphanage. Haha. Ha. Jeez. This place should have many... Uh, my followers trembling in terror. But look. Up in your church, you've done some great decorating, but this one should be darker, and without all the crosses. Crosses bring back bad memories for me. Ho ho, one other thing. For the ritual, we need to have a fountain of blood. Better make two, just to be sure. Okay, I'll try. Back home, we have a whole holiday for scary things. Halloween. I was good at these decorations. I'll figure something out. Poor you. So we need this place to have 20 evil. Alright. Um. Alright. All right, then. Um, ooh, wow, now I can build all kinds of things. Blood fountain. Look, pumpkins. That's funny. Okay. Well, we can make blood fountains. That's easy enough. And we do need more skulls. All right, snake. Well, we got rid of the Necronomicon. We need pallets of beer. I guess I'm going to have to start growing hops, then? Could just buy it all. That seems to work, generally. Alright. Um, let's put some stuff away. Let's first go check... Oh, gosh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I make my sword? Yes! The Damask Sword with Gem. We're going to make it. 
We're going to make it. Look at us. The best sword. All right. Now we've got this insane sword for dungeon diving. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's look how our guys are doing. Yep, they need some help. All right, let me put in these seeds that I purchased. And this fertilizer. Okay, so can you make... Um, I need better fertilizer for you. What are you making? Oh, no. Yeah, you're making gold grapes because you're in good shape. Can you make gold grapes? Not yet. What about you? How you doing? Silvers? Um, Alright, fine. I'll put a f couple of you guys on the silvers while we work on the better fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, the vineyard's looking really good. Let me dump some stuff. So I will dump um, this diamond and all these metal bars. Darn. I can dump that. Um, I need to pick up all these gravestones. I gotta make a delivery over at the uh, the old church. Alright. Um, what's wrong with you? Why can't you make this? You're out of your stuff. Alright, well, make this, and then this. Anything else we can break down? No. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can you make some stone repair kits? Yeah, good. And then... Um, let me go over here and then just take that off and then you're off to the races. How you doing, dude? Oh, yeah. Oh, you look better standing over there. We need the nails. We need lots of nails. Okay. So now you're in great shape. We have another corpse. Well, good time to deliver all this stuff then. Good time to drop off all these tombstones. Alright, let's go down below. Pick up this garbage, and then we can put in this story. Um, Alright, I need to find where I put my solution. Here we go. Perfect. And these can go in here. This goes here. What about um, bones? Do I have any bones left over? Probably not. But I've got space. All right, good. Can you make... Yeah, I need at least a flavor enhancer. I think I need some better fertilizer, the good stuff, the gold stuff. I can make one bag. Running low on peat. I'm going to have to buy some from my dude. Alright. Nice. I can get a bunch of red, but I don't really need that. Alright. Can I buy any technologies, by the way? Nah, I need to just spend time making a lot of blue. I can do the complex printing press. Brewing. I can make a brewing stand. And a zombie brewery. I guess I should get to that for my tavern. Alright. Poof. So much to do. So much to do. What's in my inventory? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's head this way. Take a swig of the old vino. He's working away merrily. We go out here and put away this, 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 and this. 
here's my gold stuff if I want to make a stained glass window, I suppose. Okay. Um, well, let's see about a brewery. Oh, I don't make it here. Oh, I bet we make it downstairs. Huh? Oh my god, we're out of speed potion. Get back on it. I bet we make it in here. Yes, that's correct. Brewing stand. Alright, so all we need is a bunch of stone, simple and complex parts. That I have. I have that in spades. This thing has more stone than anyone will ever need. I'll just take 60 of it. Good. And then... Let me get the parts. This looks good. This looks good. I've got to need some wood, right? I'll take some planks. Just 30, though, should do it. And a little flitch. I'll take all these, too. And this. I'm not leaving anything to chance here. Alright. Let's go check this out. Let's go see if I brought enough stuff. What is this? Oh, this guy can take stuff to the bar. Perfect. All right. Um, let me then go brewing stand. That looks cool. I'll put you over here with the wine man. Oh. Wait. I probably don't need that because I've got this. And then, I bet I don't even need this. I'm going to build one just to say that I have one. Um, we can build it, like, right down here. Perfect. All right, we need a bunch of wheat and hops and water. Well, we've got the water thing outside. I need two zombies at least. Uh huh. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna need hops. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna have to buy the seeds for this and start growing it. I'm not sure. I can't remember who does this. Is it the farmer at higher tiers or? No, there's somebody else who sells this. It's not Dig, is it? I'll figure it out. Alright, dude, back on the speed potions. Pronto. I'll get you more blood. Don't you worry about that. Alright. Um, put it here. Let's take the blood. And the bone. And the fat. I need a zombie. Alright. This guy can go to work. I'm going to put this dude, or at least try to put this dude here. So now he's like, he's immediately moving. He's got something on him. Um, he must be taking the wine. Can you make any... Oh, we're so close. You can make bad wine. That's cool. Do it. I have 10 gold fertilizer on me. Alright, so I need peat. I need hops. There's so much stuff that I still need to do. It's ridiculous. But at the same time, we have made 
the best sword. Um, we have the tavern going with a bartender that we've animated. Um, the game just gets sillier and sillier with more and more things, but that's great. We are continuing to climb upward and we're getting ready for a day of buying technology from the astrologer and having church, getting more zombies to automate more of the game. So everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for this particular episode of Let's Play Graveyard Keeper here in 2020. We just keep going going higher and higher, and I'm, I'm really having fun with this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, could you please do so? I'd really appreciate it. Hope you have a good one, and I'll check you guys in the next episode when we try to get beer going you know i was just skipping it going right to the wine but i see now that that was a mistake uh oh uh oh you guys our operation before i go it's time to get these dudes growing their stuff back again i mean we can't just be sitting here not growing the county's best onions or lentils or pumpkins, whatever it might be. We actually need pumpkins for our cool Halloween decorations. Yeah, right? There we go. All right, everybody. Now we'll stop. Take care.